Joshua 5, 5, and 7 through 8 says, For all the people who came out were circumcised, but all the people who were born in the wilderness along the way as they came out of Egypt had not been circumcised. Their children, whom he had raised up in their place, Joshua circumcised, for they were uncircumcised because they had not been circumcised along the way. Now when they had finished circumcising all the nation, they remained in their places in the camp until they were healed. Well, if you're joining us in reading through this 90-day reading plan, today's reading is Joshua 5, 1 through 7, 15, and I encourage you to read that passage. There's an important spiritual lesson in today's reading. You must be spiritually prepared to fight the battles that God places you in. Spiritual preparation can involve many things, but there are some things which should be standard for anybody's walk with Christ. The first thing is you must spend time in God's Word. This is so vitally important but it is not important for the reasons you might think. Spending time in God's Word is a discipline. Discipline allows you to recognize that which is right and that which is wrong. And when you are confronted with the possibility of trying to cut corners, it is discipline that will help you stay on track. Secondly, you must be repentant. Now, we all sin. If we have unconfessed sin in our life, then we will fail. Unconfessed sin is a weight in your spiritual walk that causes you to stumble. And it could cause you to lie, and it will draw you away from God. You must be walking in the same steps that God is walking. This is particularly pointed out in Joshua's need to circumcise all the male children who would have been born during those 40 years in the desert. While the Israelites left Egypt with all the males circumcised, they disregarded this requirement for spiritual growth. Before they went into battle, they needed to complete their covenant with God. Christians do not necessarily have to circumcise their male children, but they do have the necessity to remain in close fellowship with God. This is done through the Lord's Supper. Our remembering why we partake in the Lord's Supper will cause us to repent. Hopefully that repentance will carry us farther as we remember the cross and we remember our sin. God gives us things to remind us of who we are and who He is. We cannot ignore any of these and still maintain a consistent walk and growth in Him.